Thought I'd do a little bit of a tunnel tour today. We've got several tunnels on the farm here of different sizes and construction. And so I think there's kind of something for everybody. The end walls on this one are rolled down right now. Um, I'm not really planning on doing much in here this winter. Just gonna pick through these greens and, uh, and once they're kind of wilting and dying back, then I'll probably mulch it a little bit. And this is gonna be for nursery stock in the spring. This one, these bows are cheap that you can find them. This is just from a, the woods, but it was from a greenhouse that was going out of business and it's 14 feet wide. Um, in New York here, we do get quite a bit of snow. Actually today is very cold. Uh, it's about 50, uh, 20 right now, 18, and we're gonna get two feet of snow potentially over the next couple days. And in that kind of a scenario, this round construction is not the best. There's a lot of surface on the top here where it can settle and squish this thing, even though these are nice and strong trusses. I'm gonna have to come out here and anytime we get more than eight or 10 inches or so, this thing needs to get cleaned off. This one is awkward shape. I've alternated it lengthwise rows and keyhole pattern over the years. You, once you get into the side here, you can see it's very uncomfortable. So the keyhole allows you to access here and fit your, get your hand all the way to the edge without too much fuss. Straight rows does not work so well. Um, and these pathways are all dug out the soil down to the subsoil, put on these big fluffy beds, and then wood chips in there. This one, just to share with you, one option, there's baseboards on the bottom. You can see a little bit better on this side. And those trusses are bolted into the baseboard. You can see there, uh, 5 16 bolt sticking out. And the plastic, you can't see it, but it goes past the baseboard by about 18 inches and it goes down into the soil and there's a channel that was dug on the side there. It's laying down about one shovel depth and then soil's packed on top of there. So it needs no other anchoring. Uh, it's been here for four years, just those boards resting on the ground with the soil anchoring both sides. And that is it. There is no other anchor. There's no rebar. There's nothing pinning it down other than soil. And as I said, it's in an area that gets pretty decent wind, actually. Um, yeah, it's a little bit shaded, but it gets, it's held up some pretty strong wind. Never even been an issue at all. And if you don't have wiggle wire and all that kind of fancy stuff, here you can see I just uh, self-tapping screwed pieces of wood onto the truss. And then that was just kind of so that I could screw into it. And then I took these, these sections of wood and I cut the plastic maybe six inches longer than the lip here. And then I rolled it around. You can see that these pieces of plastic get rolled around. I cut here and I cut there into strips. So it's kind of like these little, you know, one foot strips of plastic. And then I roll them around like that. And then I crank it down and then screw it in. And so that way you've got this piece of plastic, uh, this piece of wood surrounded by plastic a few times, and you can really lever it down like that and, and stretch and tighten the plastic. And as I said, this was reused plastic that's been on here for about four years and it's doing really well. I'm very happy with it. I've grown a lot of stuff in here. So this is something I think anybody with access to a small space could get these pretty cheaply um, and put one of these up if you're willing to try to make some relationships with greenhouses because most greenhouses has, have moved on from this type of construction. Just used to use these as cold frames, got bigger and then have piles of them sitting out back. You know, making friends with smaller, with larger farms can really help out um, smaller operations. So tiny little greenhouse, but lots of production and well, for me, basically no cost. And for a lot of people, very cheap cost. 
and there's just one purlin down the center that I just bolted. No special hardware.